Hey guys, Karina for the Score Esports here, and I'm here in Cologne at Gamescom with Hastra from Team Envious. Owner comes with the team to Cologne. Tell me a little bit, why are you here? And Envious, where obviously a big favor is coming into this tournament. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a, a former professional player myself. I've been to, to many Gamescom events, and this is the first LAN for Overwatch. And uh, currently we have uh, what many would say is the number one team in the world, and this is their first, their first big LAN. So yeah, as the owner, I traveled with the, the guys to make sure that they're really comfortable here, you know, and um, that we're giving them, you know, really good support around the, the tournament, and they can just focus on competing. So uh, yeah, that's, that's why we're here right now. Um, looking back in the day when you decided to get an Overwatch team, tell me about the reasons behind it. Why did you believe in this game? Yeah, we just thought Overwatch was a really, really polished game in the beta phase of the game before it was released. We thought it was really quite amazing that Blizzard had managed to produce a shooter game that was like uh, this good in a beta phase, you know, just like really perfect, uh, like a net code where you can play online and you can trust that where you're shooting, you know, your bullets are going to go in certain places. A lot of video games uh, online, you know, shooter games are, are very unreliable with that. And uh, we were very impressed by it and we felt like people would want to watch this game because you can actually show quite a, a high amount of skill and teamwork in the game. And um, we just believed it would be an amazing eSport and I think we still believe that even now when our, you know, we're three months, two months into the game being released, it's, it's been quite good. Talking about yourself, and you've been a pro gamer, now you're a very busy person with all the teams around the world. Are you playing Overwatch yourself? And maybe you can also give us a bit of an insight of your favorite heroes? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so yeah, I, I play the game a lot. And uh, I think that's um, one of our strengths as an organization is that you know myself and, and the staff uh, that I have very close to me, uh, we play the games that we invest in quite a lot and we learn the very advanced high level parts of the game because uh, you know we want to be able to support the players in a way that uh, we can give them advice you know even even the top level professional players that we have we want to be able to, to advise them on certain certain aspects of their careers within the game uh, whether that be technical or mental and um, yeah so playing the game is to me is very important it's a great excuse to, to play video games but it's also uh, like I said it's uh, we really do believe that it's very important for us to to invest our time into playing the game at a, a high level uh, so yeah in overwatch I'm playing quite a lot um, I'm getting much 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 better as I go up the ladder so I've been I've been progressing very fast but uh, I'm playing like a lot of DPS characters like heroes like um, McCree or Reaper um, like uh, Tracer Soldier 76 like you know I'm an old Call of Duty player so it's just natural to me to want to you know just kill everything so um, yeah that's um, that's what I'm doing right now in Overwatch um, right now, looking into Envious, you've got CSGO team, League of Legends team, Overwatch team. How do you like divide your time and attention, and how does it all work? I mean, like every team is your kind of baby, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. But now, you know, at this point of you know, we've we've experienced this massive growth where we're we're the I think you know to the, nobody's argued with me yet, but I think we're the second largest team in, in the world in, in esports with the number of players that we have under the organization and contract. And I think that uh, we're growing a great staff now, like really good people I can trust to, to manage the teams wherever they are. Uh, so I have to give them a big you know, shout out to, you know, for instance, uh, we have a new manager of our League of Legends team, Andrew Tomlinson. He's, he's doing amazing. Um, you know, uh, Matt Taylor with our Call of Duty team and the Overwatch team, my operations coordinator, his name's Graham Henry. You know, I'm gonna give, I never get to give them love. So, you know, I'm gonna give them some love because I have really amazing people. Um, uh, Jordan Savelli, who manages our Counter-Strike team has been phenomenal, like just works so hard for us and, and for the, the players. So, you know, it's about bringing good people in who understand and uh, not only just esports as a whole and the events and the, the scope of what they're doing, but the players and their needs. And um, yeah, I think we're just surrounding uh, our, our players with, with really good staff. And that's really important. So that's how we manage it. So looking right now at the Gamescom here at the Atlantic Showdown is the first, first biggest like offline tournament for Overwatch. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the perspectives of this game? Can Overwatch outgrow such titles as CSGO or League of Legends, some some games that have been around like forever? Yeah, I mean, I think it can. I think it absolutely can. I think it already is beginning to. Um, how far can it go? You know, you just never know. But I think that Blizzard is an amazing publisher that 
knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to esports. They've had a lot of experience with other titles in the past. They've been one of the originals uh, to support esports, you know, one of the, or at least early adopters of esports. So uh, I think that with the publisher support, you know, better spectator modes in the games, they're, they're constantly supporting and patching the game and balancing it. They've already shown these qualities, and I think that it uh, can go quite far in esports. And I think the fans are already showing that they like to watch the game, so it's been good. Um, talking about your Overwatch team, uh, there was a lot of buzz about you having a new gaming house and bringing the team together. Tell me a little bit, like, not all the games have the same structure, and now it seems like you're really putting a lot of emphasis to it and on bringing this team to a like, super high professional level. Is that so? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people keep saying that we have a gaming house, but it's not a house. The players actually have their own apartments. So we, I think we've, we're doing it better than any other team where, you know, a lot of teams are just putting their players into a house and putting two players in a bedroom. You know, every one of our players has their own bedroom, own bathroom, and they have a roommate, you know, a two bedroom apartment. And so I feel like we're taking the next step in supporting the players. Yeah. Um, so it's not a gaming house. You know, they have their own apartments and we have an office now where they can walk to the office if they need to do specific training, um, if they want to, you know, come in as a whole team, get a LAN type setting, etc. So, yeah, we're, we're making a big investment into our, all of our teams as, as much as we can. Well, it definitely sounds like Team Envious is a team to be on. <laughs> I hope so. I think, I think our players are happy. And one last question about the Gamescom here in Cologne. It's not your first time. How do you like the event in general? Do you get some good stuff out of it? What do you like the most? This place is crazy. It's just, I mean, you can't, there's, it's the biggest gaming industry event in the world. I mean, the people are just everywhere. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool to see how big, uh, you know, just video game culture is. And Gamescom is like the mecca, you know, it's like the one place in the world that you can go to and see the impact that video games have. And um, yeah, it's always fun to come here. and. Yeah, learning about new games and things. It's usually uh, I don't have enough time to like get the whole uh, experience, but yeah, I walk around and, and get some of the some of the different things from the booths. Yeah. Do you have any predictions for the Atlantic Showdown? Can Team Envious get that victory? Yeah, I mean they're, they're really good teams here. They're are, they're some of the best teams in the world. They've had to qualify to be here, and I think the European teams pose a big threat to us because we we haven't really played them very much lately. Um, the American teams also are, are very solid, but right now we have topped the group, Group A. So I, I can't really, can't really say anything else other than you know we're 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 looking to win this tournament. I think we will, but um, certainly there, there are good teams that we have to watch out for and take very seriously. Well, thank you very much for taking your time for this interview. Great to see you here, and let's see how Team Envy does tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You can check out more interviews on the Score Esports website or download our mobile app. Yeah. <laughs>